reaction is I hold that in, I'm going to crouch, pull out my pistol, and roll. <laughs> so let's see if that works. Pull out my pistol. <laughs> Okay, so today I want to go over some... I want to go over advanced activators. Now, I've covered activators in the past, actually several times, but I have not made a specific tutorial video on activators. But I'm not going to go over all the basics here. I'm going to... I'm going to assume that, you know, you, you have an idea of how to use activators. Now, if you don't, you know, go check out, like, I, I did a, a pretty detailed video when activators first came out, where I was trying to figure them all out, so I went through all the basics, press and hold, long press, taps, things like that. Now, so just as a basic overview, with activators, you can turn a toggle into a hold, a hold into a toggle, like... Actually, in the video where I first went over this, like this game, you know, you push one button and crouch. And through the activator, I showed how you can use that to hold it, like as a hold crouch, if you want. And in a DayZ video, I did a little bit more advanced where I was using activators to create macro typing. Like, to be able to, uh, you know, activate... Um, one of the function keys to hold up my hands, and then it would also type I'm friendly, don't shoot, and enter. Like, I was doing that with um, start press and release press and uh, multi-key bindings. But anyways, for this one, I kind of wanted to go over... Really, the main thing I wanted to cover here is just how you can link activators together. Like, for instance... With a long press, we can do more than one. So, like this was the basic. You clicked it once to crouch, click it again to come up, hold it. You go down, hold it, come back up. So, I'm thinking just for demonstration purposes, let's make hold it goes down, and then maybe switch it, yeah. And then switches to handgun, which will be two. Or maybe... Yeah, this. Holding X was, um, switch... Well, Alright, so let's, let's go over that. So yeah, colon. Colon is switched to between primary and secondary. Or a semicolon. So let's go in here and test this out. So we have regular press is X. A long press is prone. Well, the see now that would... Ah, screw it. We're going to do it... Oh, you can't see. So we're going to do it for this, but technically I probably wouldn't want to do that for this game because I need to hold, I need the hold to be prone so I can dive. But anyways, let's add another long press. And then for this one, I'm just going to up that press time. So let's uh, take that up here. The binding is semicolon and yeah, make sure you can see that sorry I'm just taking the the press time up to be longer so let's yeah let's test that so all right let me um let's switch now you can't really see it so all right we got prone and then sidearm. Prone. And then sidearm. So, that works. Doesn't work great. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, because what I, what I was thinking here was, um... If I could make... If I could make it interruptible, then I could have it be, 
Yeah, that's not going to work. So the long press, you can't have it be interruptible. Okay, because what I was hoping for was that... Like, I could just hold it in really long and switch, but I'm not going to be able to. It's going to do both of them because the long press is not interruptible. But it is working where it's like, hold it in, I want to go down, and then take out my sidearm. So you can't interrupt a long press, but let's add another long press. Let's up the time even more. And then have that be Q. So yeah, and then this would just just as an example, like this would um you would do this because say right, we'll say we're in the binding and we did Y to toggle multi button. Some games won't register that because it's pushing them all it's pushing them all at the same time and it's too fast. Other times it'll work, like for instance, like in DayZ, when I did the typing, it did work to do the toggle multi-button, button, and then I would, you know, go through and type in order, like, don't shoot, I'm friendly, and it would string all those together. But it, it's just something that you need to fiddle around with. Different games will, different games will uh, respond differently to some of that stuff. So, okay. If we anticipate something going on, like my... Reaction is, I hold that in, I'm going to crouch, pull out my pistol, and roll. <laughs> so let's see if that works. Pull out my pistol. <laughs> oh, that worked. Okay, let me... And then I can just stand back up. Because it's really only on a long pull. I want to see how that works. Let's switch back. So, okay. There's somebody shooting at me, I want to go to the ground, take out my pistol, and roll to the left. Hold it in. Take out my pistol. Roll. <laughs> I'm just, I'm holding it, so it's continually rolling now. It's alright, take out my sidearm, roll. <laughs> it worked! Yeah, that, that's really the main... That's really the main thing I wanted to go over on this one, was just that you can, you can string together those activators to start doing some pretty crazy stuff, like stringing different action together like that, like uh, typing, as I did in an older DayZ video. I'll link, I'll link to the other videos. So yeah, I mean that, you know, we just stringed on different long, you have different times for long presses. You have a start press. Even on regular press, you have a fire start that you can fiddle with to give you some more timing on it. So yeah, it can get pretty, it can get pretty robust. It's really just how far you want to take it. We got the double presses, long press, start press, release press. Yeah, really, I feel like the only limitation on this would be being interruptible. Yeah, that would be, I think, the only thing. Because then you could have, like, actually, I'm thinking back to an old uh, DayZ expatter profile I made where I put, like, tap to stand up, medium hold was crouch, and long hold was uh, prone. Like, kind of based on how long you held it, it would only do one thing. Here, you're sort of limited, at least with this part, in long, and specifically with long press. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to string it together. I I'm just, I'm thinking out loud right now. Or actually, I'm not thinking out loud, I'm thinking while I'm staring at my screen. I was just wondering if I could achieve the same thing by doing regular presses with interruptible and then fire start delays. I I want to say that won't work, so I'm not even sure I want to bother trying. It's only going to be interrupted by the long press, or like a double press. Yeah, it's not going to know. Oh, God damn it, now I feel like I have to try it. Uh, yeah, it, it, no, it would not work. <laughs> I'm going to be stubborn and say I know it will not work. Anyways, 
it's pretty neat that you can do that. You can string string the activators together to start to achieve some pretty nuts stuff. So I'm gonna boom, go down, cur out, pull out my gun, roll. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, as I've said, this isn't something that I would even use for this game. I just wanted to. I. I tend to like using Arma to show things off because Arma has pretty clunky, complicated controls and it's a really nice one to just load up empty maps and I can just fiddle around and go over stuff. But yeah, that's a um, little tutorial there on advanced activators. Specifically, just going over those the multiple long presses that you can do some different things. It's pretty snazzy. So yeah, I think that's all I got. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>